It is a cloudy, windy day here in London. Oh, that's a big ass boat. Hi everybody, Dan here, and I'm actually doing a vlog for once. I am going to the Disney exhibition at the London XL. So, I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to be filming there, this may be a complete waste of my time. Never been before, this is the second time it's been here. There's new stuff. And it's ending soon, so I want to get down and film it. For a little birthday trip, I'm down here also to go see Watcher after all that debacle. I'm not going to go into it on the channel. If you want to know more, I've put it all up on my Tumblr with my thoughts on it. So go give that a follow and see what you think there. Ha <laughs> ha! Disney! Okay, I'm inside and I have this weird, ominous long hallway to walk down. That's the entrance. I believe I'm like halfway. Oh, I can see some exhibits. That's Ten Got It. There's the man himself. Mickey Mouse. <laughs> There's a video literally about that in a minute, so I'm just gonna quickly scan this. But if you wanna read this, just pause it. Then I'm gonna Looks by Bob Iger. I need to actually read this myself. As I go over here, if anyone wants to get a screenshot of this, so if anyone wants to go on London and actually have a gander kind of like filming locations and stuff, I think from location 7 from Cruella 2021. See the red dress from Cruella in the uh, Gallery 3. London Eye from Cars 2. Obviously, it's uh, the real one, not a digital one. Mary Poppins locations. Peter Pan, Lambeth Bridge from Christopher Robin. Oh look, we're here. Here at the Walt Disney Archives. Here at the Archives it is our mission to protect, preserve, and make available the history of the Walt Disney Company. All right, that was that video. And now on with the show. Say hello to Patrick. Hello. <laughs> Being ever so kind. This is a great experience. I am aware I'm wearing a Bugs Bunny costume. <laughs> Jumper. <laughs> Thank you very much, nice meeting you. You stand right in the middle, that's going to be the best view for you. So you're going to get a nice nice preview video on the screen shortly, and the room has full of sparkles for you. Yeah, very pretty. Oh, yeah. It is very pretty. Thank you very much. That was a really good show. I actually really enjoyed that. There we go, now we're into the actual main exhibition. Might as well now I have actually come to a Disney exhibition. Eh, in a Bugs Bunny jumper. Where it all began. Well, yeah, a lot of people know about what uh, lies at Disney. Well, Dad, I believe. I you probably just seen some flickering because these uh, the lights are different frame rate to the camera. Oh, 1901. Yeah, that Elias and Flora Disney, his parents. And as baby Walt in 10 months, Walt and Roy. There we go, the Alice comedy is one of the first things Walt actually kind of did. Where it was live action mixed with cartoons. Alice gets in Dutch. So these are the Alice comedies. See? Live action. Mixed with cartoons. 
You know, you think what well, rabbit being the first thing. Nope. There we go. All of these, I'll go slowly so you guys can stop and pause on them the best you can. The lapograms. Uh, stock bond? Stock certificate, yeah. It said that uh, I've just been an idiot not reading it. Yeah, the lapograms. I will point out one thing about me. I've come in here, I thought I knew a lot about Walt, but then it's all just gone now that I'm here and recording, so if I'm saying stuff wrong or out of sync, that's why. My brain's just gone. This is a Praxinoscope. Yeah, these things actually had a name. Obviously, as you can see, on the glass there, in the mirrors, and here, you spin that and the animation will play out on the glass. See, this is a video actually demonstrating it right here. See how it's working? These are the story sketch pages. The storyboards, basically, of the show. It's all timber, the cartoon. Oh, it is Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. I didn't realise at first. I thought it was the cat. Oh, that's Oswald. Oh, I didn't even notice up there. <laughs> like I said, I'm being an idiot. I did not realise that this was actually Oswald. You know, before the mouse, there was a rabbit. There we go, the origins of Mickey and Minnie. Got the bioworks here. Was his wife actually Walt's wife named Mickey because his name was meant to be Mortimer? There's the storyboards and the uh, script of Steamboat Willie. Need to go on to actually the invention of Mickey and Minnie. Steamboat Willie, now in the public domain. Then we go on to the Fab Six. And into the Silly Symphonies, some of the first coloured cartoons. Walt's Legacy. There's a show on Disney Plus where they went to the house and recreated that picture. It's Walt's Legacy, starting in the 1920s all the way 100 years to the 2020s. The Black Widow. As we turn the corner, where did the stories come from? Imagineers. Cast members. Oh, hello. Oh, wow. Okay, we're in the prop section now. You know, sketch from. Sketch from Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. And another one. Yeah, these are literally what actors would have worn when they were acting out the scenes and the artists would sketch the what was going on in the scene while they were being live acted. Oh wow! This is actually what's the Dutch version. But the prop, sorry, we know they open up at the beginning of the movies. Yeah, this is one of those. This is for the Dutch version. What's oh, funny? This is the Cinderella one. Twenty fifteen Cinderella glass slipper. There we go. As we were all about the actual books. This is Okay, if I turn this page, this will turn here. Oh, oh I love this. This is brilliant. There's a fun little... Get a picture of the blue fairy. 
fun pick. This could be the thumbnail. Doubt it, but there's probably going to be a better ones as we go along. Boop. Oh, this is a script for Mary Poppins. Premier program. Premier invitation. Gotta remember, she didn't actually like the movie. Gotta remember that. Here we are. I believe this is Bert's carousel horse from Mary Poppins. Is this is used by Dick Van Dyke. Yeah, so yeah, this is Bert's. Um, I know the restored Mary Poppins one. I thought they um, repaired Bert's one, but probably not. Unless this is a different one, and they've got the main one in the American attractions. I'm not gonna be sure, I may have to watch prop stories again to find out. Okay, I just found out that they purposely kept Bert's horse a mess to fix the Mary Poppins, but left Bert's as it, well, as you can tell, as it is. I love that there's a little market of Sleepy actually asleep the bunny rabbit on a bench. Okay, um, I've gone into Winnie the Pooh now. Another character entered the public eye and now has a horror movie after him. Animation cells and background, you can see just how hand drawn. Obviously, on the cell, paint. How, like, ragged and stuff it actually is. Was it paint? Rabbit's house all done. And the actual marquee, maquette, live action stand in reference. From the Christopher Robin movie. These are production models from Beauty and the Beast, the live action one. And I never liked it. It always looks a bit too intricate. Yeah, I know that's that era of France and stuff. Obviously, I've recently been to France and Paris and the Louvre. Not the Louvre. Versailles. Yeah, and stuff was this intricate. I have to suppose Cogs was actually fit, actual face. Size, moustache, mouth. And there's Lumiere's face hiding. I've just noticed uh, these things. What kind of enchanted object is Cogsworth? Well, we all know he's a clock, so I've just talked about him. See? A clock. Moving on into the next exhibit now, the uh, illusion of life. And let's see how tall I am compared to the Incredibles. That's how I've measured. I was at my doctor's. Uh, a little bit over 180. Relatively on par with Helen. Okay, these. From an artistic standpoint, I love because obviously these are the color palettes for characters. So let's flip. I don't know. Let's go with this one. It's Peter Pan. Down below, this one. Jafar. The table in the middle. What does this do? Okay, I'm gonna go with Genie. And, uh, press the button. What do you do? Ah! Did I know? Genie sure dropping stopping musical number Fun Like Me draws inspiration from the legendary jazz acts performers like Fats Weller and the Cab Calloway. Huh. That I never knew. You learn something new every day. In the wake of the success of Mickey Mouse and Silly Symphony Shorts, Walt Disney to improve the workers' animation studio by fully developed characters, which is where these have all come from. Jiminy Cricket from 1940. Peach Dragon from 1977. <gasps> Just Doom! No way! Just Doom one. That is... That is brilliant. Some information about the design and inspiration and everything behind Cruella de Vil from 101 Dalmatians. Obviously uh, going into the live action ones. Dress on the uh, actual Cruella movie. Worn by Emma Stone. Okay, now we're into it. Spider Man, Buzz Lightyear, Falcon, Moana. This is a model of a dirigible from the island at the top of the world. But I didn't realise, I've never seen this movie, didn't even know it was a thing. I didn't realise, I think that's in the Discovery section of Disneyland Paris. Discovery Land. Disneyland Paris is version of Fantasyland. Or Tomorrowland. Yeah, I think that's literally what's 
there. Okay, here we go. Into the Star Wars section. Han Solo's dice. Get rid of my shadow. Chewie's dinner. Excuse me, BB-8. What was that? Not my favourite droid. Definitely not my favourite droid. My favourite droid is literally Chopper. Or BD-1 from Fallen Order. Ah, oh, that hurt my ears. Mark Hamill's lightsaber hilt. But not the one from New Hope, etc. This is literally from The Last Jedi. I mentioned Black Widow earlier, just a Scarlett Johansson's White Widow uniform. Well, scuff marks on the. Oh no. And the, uh, the Thor, Captain Marvel, Star Lord, Iron Man, Cap, Ant Man. Not the scuff marks, see. The detail going into the damage on the helmets. It's amazing. Not Iron Man, actually. He's not got much stuff, Max. Star Lord, though, though. No, nope, there we go. Cap Shield. Well, that's the one from Endgame. Well, the Endgame one had the claw marks from Black Panther. I'm now literally in the music section of the exhibition. And these are all concept art. Well, the Philly Caballeros. Yes, the Philly Caballeros. They are birds of a feather. Such your sheet music from Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Literally the first animated musical feature. Oh, the drums from the set of the Mouseketeers. Back from 1955-1959. I feel Disney should bring back the Mouseketeers. You know, we had celebrities like... Britney Spears and Ryan Gosling who wear Mouseketeers. But I think in today's climate, stuff would hit the fan very quick if they brought that back. Especially with what conspiracy theorists think and stuff like that. I think this is when it comes back, it's stopped now. This thing keeps making me jump and I think it's supposed to be Tink. I can literally keep getting jumped by it. <laughs> oh cool, you can actually listen to songs from the packs. I am not listening to that. I've, I've selected it. I, no. Hate that song, hate that ride. Oh no. DuckTales. Now, I am a massive Haunted Mansion fan including the Phantom Manor, regardless of the which alliteration you use of it. But this is the original artwork on the album. I've never actually seen the Grim Grinning Ghost look like this. Uh, Gus, I believe. Didn't realize Gus was that hag and worn. The world around us. Oh, this is all about Walt's... Um, National Wildlife and documentaries he made that would lead into Disney nature. Because Walt loved to go and film, which obviously then turned into Animal Kingdom and stuff at Disney World. Like I've seen Joe Rody over on that screen over there. Now what's this Oscar from? Yeah, this is for the Living Desert. Walt made a whole bunch of documentaries and animation cartoons on in South America. It's like there's a goofy one, there's also the Free Cabilelos, that's where that came from. Some questionable things in that, I won't go into that. Yeah. There we go, I think this is a clip from the Free Cabilelos. It is! Okay, um, bit blue man goofy right now, because there's lighting here. But if you, at the start of this intro show, there's a little all individual sections of what this exhibit is and now we're going to move into the innovations. This is the stuff I love about Disney and the innovations and futures and stuff like the multiplane. That's over here. Animatronic heads. The uh, One of the things that inspired the Tiki Room. <sighs> like in that is like little modes which will make it like tweet and move a little bit. But that's, there's not much in there. And I believe this literally sits 
or it's supposed to sit on one of the things that sits on Watt's desk in his office, which is illustrated there. Like, how the multiplayer works is, like, say, like, I'm here with the camera, snap a shot, pop in the next frame of animation for each layer. Like, I believe this is from... Tricks of the... Pl Tricks of the trade, apparently. Let's see that on there. What you see there is this. And if you zoom in, obviously there's meant to be extra layers of the background there. Like at certain points. And it all makes one picture. You can't really make it out. Yeah, there's a barn there. I can't really make it out because of the glare on the glass. There's the sun. Zoom in like so. How does the camera work I do? If I had my gimbal with me, that would have been a lot smoother. But obviously glare from lights and stuff. Stop that. Ooh, sorry boss. Right, this is an animatronic's hand. Oh, it's an audio animatronic. Oh, if you have um, Donald Gennaro from Jurassic Park and um, auto, auto erotica. Um, yeah, this is Ashton's hand. Oh, this is from the Hall of Presidents. Not sure which president it's from, but it's a form of the Hall of Presidents hand. This is the hand. All goes into the connectors here, and this... This is how you would program it. Whoa! The lights lighting up made me jump. I see the hand's moving now. Not sure if I triggered that somehow, but... Yeah. Oh, see, this is fairly modern because there's USBs in here. USB hopes. And this is the same relative thing. This is from Pirates of the Caribbean. Like, all the connectors there would then go into one of those, which would be backstage. And all this fed down and through the animatronic, going all the way to a section that box of those. And here we go into like the more modern S thing. I catch my face. There we go. I am now Rocket Raccoon. You talk? Half moves. It's not the best and it keeps glitching and this next room is loud, so we're probably gonna beat some of my own music over this. Called Disney World. And this is literally the park section. The original Anaheim Park layout before DCA even existed. This table has um, different sections of different parks of around the world. Uh, Tokyo, Disney World, Paris, Disneyland, Anaheim, Shanghai. I'm back to world again. There's two Disney Worlds. Let's go Magic Kingdom. Got the resort, Disneyland Park, DCA. All I can hear is Let It Go, and I really don't like Let It Go, it's one of those songs that gets stuck in, gets absolutely stuck in my head. At times in this room it sounds like the Disneyland Railroad train is running around the room, and it's really cool. And I'm going to go sit in the teacup. <laughs> oh, I never did this when I went to Disney World. I actually went into the teacup and it's nice for it to light me up properly. See, there'll be literally a wheel in the middle here where you spin and turn the teacup, but this doesn't have it, annoyingly. But, yeah. Is this one of the original teacups? One land or world? Nah, it just does Disney 100 the exhibition. I can smell hot dinner. Like hot school dinners. I can smell gravy, I can smell beef. And it's making me really, really hungry. Here's a Tinkerbell uh, lamppost ornament from Main Street. There's a few of these around. I think this is like auto animatronic of Jiminy Cricket. Looks like he's in his Disney 100th outfit. And we got a 
Because you eventually put in a space, which is essentially a doom buggy for Haunted Mansion. Oscar from the Country Bear Jamboree, which is closed and having a refurb and a reimagining at Disneyland. Oh god, I hate these small animatronics. Look how creepy that is. Just staring into your soul. Ugh. Okay, this is amazing. Castle of Magical Dreams model from Hong Kong Disneyland. One of the best cat literally the best cat oh hello Tink. Literally the best castle in all, all the castles. Just a mismatch of different things. The teacup isn't the only ride vehicle there is here. There's one from Peter Pan's Flight. And Mr. Turd's Wild Ride, which I've seen many pictures of people sat in these, celebrities and stuff. Especially I think at Anne Wheaton and Will Wheaton, where it looks like Anne Wheaton, so trying to run over Will Wheaton, make it on the front here. Don't think this is the one from Disneyland itself. That is from Disneyland Park. A tracking vehicle, but it could just literally be any other vehicles, could not might not be the one that's directly from outside the attraction. Oh, well, hold on a minute. I think you meant to stand here and these move with you, but Mickey was just moving on his own. So let's. Okay. Do you. Am I. Does mini work? Was I supposed to twirl? I have. I have no idea what I do here. Oh, interactive Daikin. Yeah, I have no idea. Oh, three ways to interact with the artwork. Wave, jump, spin. Hmm, I did. Touch. Touch electronics in the room. So what, do I... Do I really touch the TV? Oh, ten. Okay. Uh, turn the light on and off. I think I broke it. No, oh, no. What the? Get, oh, get off. Get off. There are different ones of these, what's it done at books. Pages of a book going around different eras of Disney from the 1920s all the way to the 2020s. But this is my era. This, well, I don't have the same experience as the Americans do because I'm British. But this is my area. Roger Rabbit. Disney Afternoons. Nightmare Before Christmas. Flying King. Ah, nostalgia is a hell of a drug. Oh, these are actual props from Home Improvement. The Tim Allen show. Oh, Binfers. I think Alan Tim's double headed hammer. Yeah, I don't think so, Tim. 1920s. Mickey Mouse. Doll. I feel like people these days think it's terrifying. Oh, this is how to make your own printed pattern. Oh, home sewn. Okay. That's a homemade one. I'm gonna get this picture of the first actual Mickey and Minnie costumes that were used in the park at premieres. Speaking of premieres, <laughs> that is that is haunting. Spooky scary skeletons. I also didn't mean to wear my hand in that animation to start. That was just weird. 
I want to say a world of thanks to everyone that helped make this dream come true. Walt Disney. Oh, and this is it. Now that's the end. Literal credit roll. Yeah. There we are. The end. This area, which I'm not going to fully show, is the show in Once Upon a Studio, the 100th anniversary animation that's on Disney Plus. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. hell. Copyright by Walt Disney on the mini doll. Yeah, welcome to the gift shop. Oh, those Funkos are nice. £55 for these Funkos. There's the, hun the uh, exhibition hoodie for £70. The print isn't all that great on them. Like, the, like three washes and it'll come off bad print. There's this hoodie and it's £60. And there's actually a print on the back of it. That's cool, Sorcerer Mickey. That's got a better print on it. Still kind of feels like it's going to come off. Different Sorcerer Mickey on the back of this one. Mickey thinks it's going to be over another hundred years, apparently. Oh, these t-shirts are brilliant. I really like this one. £30, uh, it's got the Honda's exhibition on it. Mm. To me personally, that kind of ruins it. But that is made some print. I actually do like that. I'm not going to go through everything merch wise. Go from Bambi, Simba, Thumper, uh, to old school, uncoloured Mickey. So Mickey. Oh, these are. Okay, these are more felt. These are. Wait, yarn. They're the same. Oh, it's just Steamboat Willie. That's that's cool. Um, back down the long corridor of doom, and that's it. That is the Disney 100th exhibition. I've not filmed everything in there. First vlog back in absolutely ages. Fun. It was fun to be out vlogging again. A little bit self-conscious, but that's just part of vlogging when you've not done it absolutely ages. But really enjoyable, really informative, really covered everything, what's going from Walt from 1920s all the way to the Disney company now. And yeah, I do actually recommend that. If you're in America, the American one has different um, exhibits on and artifacts. And that is a lot of grey hair in my hair. Yeah, I'm going to wrap this up. Thank you all so much for watching. It's going to rain, so I'm going to get out of the rain. Hit the like button, subscribe if you want content. I'll see you guys in the next one. Keep an eye out for streams and stuff. And I am knackered. London, when you're out of shape, it gets you. I think I've been sat on a tube on a train early all day, so I'm thinking I'm just brain tired and that. Yeah. Before I ramble on, good night.